Hi. If you get your updates from one of these, you'll know how fast information flows. For first responders, quick access to that information can save lives. How? NATO science. Emergencies don't respect borders. So when first responders need to communicate across countries and organizations, they need a simple system that works quickly. Our scientists have come up with a handy solution. One of the fundamental problems of any kind of disaster response, firefighting, floods, earthquakes, is that many organizations come together that normally don't work together, so they don't always know how to communicate or collaborate. We developed a software platform where everybody can join together and develop ways to share information that they normally don't know how to share. Maps, videos, pictures, all in real time. We call it the Next Generation Incident Command System, or NICS for short. Snappy name, but how does it work? At the core of NICS is the incident map that displays key information such as incident perimeters, evacuation zones, weather conditions, responder locations, and images from the scene. Emergency personnel upload the content directly using either a web-based system or a mobile app. There's even online spaces where responders can chat with each other in real time. The system has been successfully put to use in the United States, including to help fight wildfires in California, and has been adopted by emergency services in the state of Victoria in Australia, where it has helped more than a thousand firefighters battle over 50 bushfires. With support from the NATO Science for Peace and Security program, we are introducing the platform in the Western Balkans to support regional responses to man-made and natural disasters. We recently tested the system in Montenegro during a NATO exercise that simulated an international response to wildfires involving more than 250 first responders and experts. Hazards are only disasters if there's insufficient preparation and communication. NICS goes one step further to helping our first responders better protect our populations. Next episode, we'll take you to Ankara in Turkey to learn how games are helping NATO tackle the next generation of security threats. Check out the rest of the videos in the series to learn more about NATO science.